you will not take custody by force. Do not do that. Do not enter the house forcefully and take custody of the child. Fine, the child belongs to you. Nobody is arguing that with you. channel thank you so much for tuning in my name is Mary I'm a lawyer and a real estate consultant on this channel I share educative content to educate the public particularly legal content okay so please do what subscribe to this YouTube channel ignorance of law is not an excuse so I am here to help you to understand basic principles of law basic principles of law okay so please do what subscribe if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much i do appreciate you thank you for being a part of this youtube channel and if you're yet to subscribe please subscribe right now i think i've mentioned that <laughs> before please subscribe right now so in this video i want to share with you what can you do when your child's father or mother refuses you custody of your child particularly in a divorce procedure or judicial separation after the marriage has been dissolved okay so when there are children of the marriage the court definitely award custody either jointly so when the child stays with a party for a while the child is meant to go to the other party probably weekends or holidays so you are yet to get custody of your child because the other party has been refusing you custody of that child what can you do number one do not take custody by force do not do that. Do not enter the house forcefully and take custody of the child. Fine, the child belongs to you. Nobody is arguing that with you. But you forcefully entering that house will cost you, may cost you a lot. And it may affect the psychology of that child. So put that into consideration and do not do anything forcefully. Number two, please keep record of anything. Keep record of emails, text messages phone calls if you can recall they keep those records because that will help you to prove to the court that the, the other party has been refusing you custody of that child so another thing you should do is please contact your lawyer either the lawyer that helped you during the divorce proceeding or the judicial separation proceeding or any other lawyer make them to understand what is happening so the lawyer will either do one of these two or do both okay so the lawyer can actually file for application for content of court Consent of court means disobedience to court order. Okay, disobedience to an existing court order. That is what content of court means. So there is a court order about custody that a child should come to you weekends or holidays. Now the other party is refusing you that custody. So that is contempt of court. That would definitely come with punishment for the other party. So you may not do that. That is why I say either of either of the two options or just the one. Another thing your lawyer will do is to enforce the court order. Since there is an existing court order and the other party is refusing you custody of that child, what is next is to enforce that court order because nobody can violate court order. Okay, an existing court order, no one can violate it. Or probably people can violate it, but it's not the ideal thing. So it is to enforce that court order. So the your lawyer will do the necessary will make the registry application to the court for the enforcement of that court order. Because in the order of court, you will be able to get the custody of that child. Thanks so much for watching. If this video educates you, do not forget to like. Please, it will help my YouTube channel. So please do what to like this video, subscribe, and share with anyone you know this video that will find this video helpful. And if you have any question at all, you can drop it in the comment section or you send it via my email. Thank you so much. See you in another video.